Friday night at Forest Park, Alpha Epsilon Pi fraternity hosted their first annual Rockathon banquet. The fraternity has raised close to a million dollars for cancer research. Now, what does that have to do with this guy? Well, the featured speaker for the evening was former Mizzou football coach Gary Pinkle, who has been diagnosed with lymphoma. Our Frank Cusumano sat down with Pinkle to learn more about how and why he's rearranged the priorities in his life. Everybody was taken aback when you did give the revelation about the cancer. How is it now? Uh, it's still in remission. I'm still in remission. So the type that I have, the non-Hodgkin's that I have, uh, it will come back again, and uh, I've, and it all also can go a different direction. You know, at the end of the day, it's about battling, and, I, and I'm excited about being here for the Rockathon here. These students at the university um, have been doing this, raising money uh, to, to, to the battle against cancer for years and years and years, uh, I think 50 years. And uh, so for me, it's uh, great to be a part of that. How much do you miss it at all? Yeah, I, 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 I miss it. I, you know, I'll tell you the truth. I, I, I did something I love to do. You know, how, how often do you get to, to do a job? I, I coach football and they paid me to do it. And back in the day, you know, you didn't get into it for the money because at the time you were making, you know, about uh, teacher salaries at the time. And, and I did it because I loved it. And, uh, but I also, I'm glad, I, I, priority-wise, it was good for me. You know, I didn't want to look back and say, gosh, you know, my, my cancer will come back, the type of that it is. And all of a sudden say I was working 80 hours a week, you know, for 40 weeks out of a year. And, and I, 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 w I couldn't forgive myself for doing something like that. So I, I reprioritized myself. I loved what I did, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited that I, I'm kind of doing some other things. How about your relationship with Barry? What do you guys like? Do you offer advice? I, I don't. I, you know, I, I think back to when I was when I, I left Washington and became head coach at Toledo. I didn't call Don James up. I, I, I actually I didn't call him up because I didn't want him to think I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so, uh, all kidding aside, but uh, you know, I I I have I have a real good relationship with Barry. I want him to be great. I think when you become a head coach, you got to make decide the direction you want to go on many levels of your program, and what you believe in from places you've been. And, and there's not one right way to do it, but I think he's doing a lot of good things. It's a tough job. It's hard to win. The SEC is don't get injuries. You know, you've got to, it, it's, it's very difficult. And, uh, uh, you know, certainly uh, I, I, I expect him to build a great program here. And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all in for anything, anything he'd want me to do. How excited are you? And are scouts even talking to you a little bit about him? Drew Locke's future. I'm real excited for him. He's the last quarterback I recruited. We had a great run of quarterbacks. That's why we also won a lot of games. Uh, but I'm really excited for him, and, and uh, he's worked hard, and he's really mature. He played a lot of different sports. He wasn't like Chase Daniel that all he did was football. He did all kinds of things. It took him a little bit longer, but uh, I'm very, very proud of him, and, and you know, hopefully he'll have a great, great career. Um, a, lot of it's, a lot of it's going to the right place, too. I've seen a lot of really good quarterbacks go to the wrong place, and there's a lot of them right now that are playing that just can't because the franchise isn't where it needs to be to, for greatness. And so that's important. Where he gets drafted is going to be very, very important. And certainly, you know, I think he's got a chance to be, I hope, I hope he's the greatest quarterback we've ever had. And, and uh, you, know, I, you know, he loves Mizzou. His dad played at Mizzou. His grandpa played at Mizzou. Um, you know, he's, he's, he'll, he'll be somebody that, uh, you know, will, will be a great alumnus forever. What if there's some young man here at this function tonight and he really wasn't old enough to remember you know, your great run. And he says to the dad, who is that guy up there? What would you want the dad to say to his son? He won a lot of games, uh, but he also uh, did the right things for kids all the time. And, uh, you know, I don't think sometimes don't, people don't, you know, understand that that was real important to me and what we did and how we did it. And uh, I'm very proud of that.